If you live the taco life, you're gonna love my taco mac and cheese. All right, first thing you wanna do is get your water boiling, and then we're gonna cook us up two pounds of ground beef. I'm using the Kentucky Cattleman's because it's awesome. Our water's boiling, we're gonna salt it. Add our two pounds of macaroni noodles. Give them a stir so they don't clump together. Now our beef's done, we're gonna kinda push it to the side. Get you a bunch of paper towels. We're gonna put them right down here in the grease. Now we got most of that grease out. It's time to add the orange top. That's the taco. So you can see here, this is a 3.5 ounce bottle. We got a little more than half, so that's about two ounces in there for two pounds. So I know everybody's gonna say, oh, you gotta use a whole bottle to get any flavor. No, look, let me remind you something. The other taco packets, any taco packet that you buy out there is gonna have one ounce in it. The only difference is ours doesn't have any fillers like flours, wheats, anything like that. We're real sea salt, no sugar, no chemicals, real flavor. So we're just gonna simply get this mixed in. Now you can use some water or 12 ounce Modelo. Our noodles are just about done. Let's give it a little sample. Al dente, that's right where we want them. And now we strain them. Keep this pot out. That's where we're gonna make our sauce. All right, you can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit. Let's give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, that's some flavor packed taco meat. Now we're gonna add the birria cooking sauce. So we're gonna add one jar of this. Turn this on low. Let this continue to reduce for the next 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna get our pan heated up. Half stick of unsalted butter. Now that it's almost totally melted, we're gonna add some of our flour. Probably about a quarter of a cup to half a cup. It's on a low temperature, but you wanna move fast because you do not want this to burn. Kinda like making a roux. Now we're gonna go in with our heavy whipping cream that mixed around. We're gonna add a big bag of Mexican style cheese. This is four cups. We're gonna add another cup or two of the heavy whipping cream. Fontina. This is one of the best melting cheeses there ever was. So what we're gonna do is cut off the hard casing from the outside. Cut this into smaller pieces, easier for melting. Add in our Fontina, just like that. We are officially gonna go ahead and add the rest of our whipping cream. It's one quart. Look at that, y'all. The clumps are starting to melt. We're almost there. We're almost ready to put everything together. Fontina. We're gonna dice this up one whole white onion. About a quarter of a bundle of some cilantro. Stems and all. Add that into the mix. Last, I got two spicy jalapenos. You might be wondering, how do I know they're spicy? Do you see those little white lines right there? That means they're spicy. All right, now it's time to bring this all together. Remember, I'm totally freestyling this. Add in our macaroni, spread it out evenly. Now it's time for the cheese. Get it all moved around. No cheese left behind. Get the rest of that in there. Once you get it evened out, we're going in with our taco mix. Right on top. Now we got about two cups of a Mexican style cheese. And then we got about two cups of cheddar Monterey Jack. Now it's time for those jalapenos. And there you have it. Now we go into our 400 degree oven. All right, it's been 25 minutes and it looks fantastic. There's only one thing left to do. Now we're going in with a little bit of everything. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm 10 out of 10. <laughs> if you're living that taco life, you gotta make this. Yum yum, get you some. I'm seriously supposed to be on a diet and I can't stop eating it. <laughs>